What's up guys welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 22 Manchester United career mode on the channel and in this episode we are going to start off with a derby match against Liverpool currently we are on the top of the league table with 19 points in 8 games and in real life they got smashed by Liverpool 5-0 but hopefully we can do better and now let's begin with the pre-match team talk so this is what Eric Ten Hag has to say about the match so he says that we have to go for the counter attacks and Salah and Mane's runs are dangerous and we don't have to press Liverpool high otherwise Salah and Mane will make the runs forward and it will be difficult for us to deal with them. So we are here at the stadium live and it's Manchester United against Liverpool. It's always very interesting when this derby takes place and now another one of these matches and what a save that was by the hair and now his Pogba plays it through for Sancho Sancho with a lot of room to run into Sir Sancho and he's missed it and now here come Man United on uh, on the attack once again Jaden Sancho once again in the box delivers it in towards Cavani Cavani passes it on but it's another brilliant save by Alisson this time Pogba and now Maserawi has been found and Maserawi scores the inverted fullback gets on the score sheet against Liverpool in a derby match what a moment this is and it's 1-0 to United and now Liverpool going forward here's Roberto Firmino on to Salah Salah passes it on now Firmino once again here's Mane and they've done it straight from kickoff and 41 minutes in just before half time they've equalized and we are going to be heading to the half time break with one goal for each team it seems like and now Liverpool once again coming forward here's Sadio Mane he's such a dangerous player to deal with when you're defending and just like that still Sadio Mane wonderfully done by Sadio Mane and it's 2-1 to Liverpool solo effort a brilliant solo effort by Sadio Mane and now Liverpool have the lead at Old Trafford. Now what can United do about that? They have a corner in the 74th minute of the game. And it's headed wide by Rafael Varane. He couldn't convert. Liverpool once again. Thiago. And now a shot by Diogo Jota. A save. And now constant pressure by Liverpool. Ball played in. Another brilliant save by De Gea. So that's it. This match has ended. And it's a defeat for Man United. And now the title race is so much back on. And so after that horrible performance against Liverpool, we are now going to move up towards the Carabao Cup. So it's Swansea City we are facing. We have Dean Henderson and... Diego Dalot, Van Bissaka, Lindelof, Alex Telles, McTominay, Fred, Bruno, Sancho, Cavani and Ronaldo Cabrera is playing. So it is our second team but it's still strong enough to beat Swansea. And we got smashed 2 nil by Swansea? Come on man, we are out of the cup. And after two dis disappointing defeats to some a good team and a pretty average team. Now we move on towards the match against Tottenham, so the pre-match team talk. So we are told to defend the counter-attacks of Tottenham and it is the history of the Tottenham as Kalini once said, or was it Benucci, I don't remember exactly. But now we, face, we visit their stadium and we look forward for our first win in three games after some disappointing results. So now here's Son and now played forward. A brilliant save but it's still on and another brilliant save what a save that was from De Gea against Lingard and now once again here's Lingard on to Richarlison Richarlison shoots and De Gea saves and another injury this is not good this is absolutely pathetic oh no we're doomed we do not have any wingers apart from Cabrera's and now we have to bring on Alanga or Telles. Telles has better stats, so let's bring him on. And it's so tough now to win this match. 
A corner for Tottenham. Delivered in. And yet I. And yet I scores. It's another goal. And now Man United are about to face three consecutive defeats in the Premier League. Now Bruno Fernandes on the free kick. And the key of scoring free kicks in this game is to curl it away from the keeper so that he cannot reach it. And let's do this. And he scored. Bruno Fernandes with a beautiful free kick. A sensational strike. Try to stop that. You just cannot. Especially in this game. When the ball is curling away from the keeper. In the free kick. They just can't save it. And we have scored. It's one all. And now United going forward. They are going for the counter attack. Here's Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho in his favorite position. Goes for the left footed shot. And tucks it home nicely. It's 2-1. Two, 2 man United. And now they have taken the lead. Here's Pogba. Pogba brilliantly find Sancho. But it's a brilliant save by Hugo Lloris. And a corner for Man United. So we're going to be making a substitution. And Bruno goes into the midfield position. And Cavani comes on in that false nine position. Let's see how he plays there. Here's Sancho. On to Pogba. And now here's Cavani. Sancho once again. Sancho on to Maserawi. And Maserawi skies his shot. He could have scored. Hermoso on to Bruno Fernandes. And now United keeping the ball. Here's Cavani. On to Kessi. Now Pogba. United still have the ball. Spurs sitting very deep. Maserawi. Sancho. Sancho on to Cavani. Wonderful football. And they have scored another goal. It's 3 1 to Man United. And they have scored in the late minutes to make it 3 1. And now, surely, any chance of a comeback by Spurs is all over. And so. There it is, it's full time and United finally get their first win in three games. After suffering defeats to Leicester and to Liverpool, they finally won and it was a comfortable victory. So now we look at the injury and it's seven month injury, oh no, oh no, we're doomed. Now who do we sign for that left wing position? I'm so confused, we have so less depth in that position. We can't just play Alex Terrizo all the time. Because he also has to play as a fullback. Anyways, now let's just shift our focus towards the Champions League. And even if we lose this game, we are still well clear at the top of the table. So it doesn't matter. And we get a draw, so no problems there. And so the next match is against Man City, which, which will be played in the next episode. So, give me suggestions about the wingers, wingers because we are absolutely short in that department anyways this will be all for today if you liked it hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more fifa 22 career mode content i'll see you next time peace out